we? Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so, in fact, than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? for it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. How you like that silk? Don't look terribly inviting. <coughs> Damn it, gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. <coughs> Should avoid those clouds. 
or bolt through them. Have a look. There it is. Vapors don't look terribly <laughs> inviting. those clouds or bolt through them.
can just find cover along the way, I should make it to the passage. In a place like this, someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. The snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Show me what you got. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Mm, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. 
You have. You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Ciri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Where are we? World of the Anel? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eredin succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek, but I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. Hmm. Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than you. Oh, who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crevan of Spain, at Coman Maca, and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crevan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Got any vodka? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. 
Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Tired of your pseudo-sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? To the world of the Enche. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Onera Lancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not?
You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargo Fair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalark knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let girls go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice, some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin. And that is quite a lot. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it. And kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the lodge and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help me. You're curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we gonna visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horse and Junior. Lead the way. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. I thought I'd find. Orson Jr. wasn't a pious man, but there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once for his life. Since the gods disliked Jr., they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret, that at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death, for he had had the courage then to do so. Courage he would never have again. Wonder what happened to him. We'll soon find out. Who? Who's there? Remember me? You. You can. You little ass fucked whore. You. You pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. Witcher! It's all your fault. Happy, you cocksucker. 
I've not left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. No! Oh, little shit! On the way here, I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. A girl who works there helped me. This girl we're going to see. Who is she again? Friend of Dandelions. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I'd take after you. Chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Eugen. He slew half the village, dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Nobody important. I'll gladly put you up for the night. Could use a nobody like you. B, you strumpet. Control yourself. This is Geralt. Why didn't you say so to start with? <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Well, you're easy enough on the eye. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt, you're terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. 
Chris and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Tris didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valder. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. Where's this friend of yours? There! Valder! Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade Anax for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, we can help. Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. You were faster once! Giving you a head start! Faster! You're trailing! Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race! Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We have several barrels of Kedwin's best here. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but... I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? <sighs> well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, 
I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? <sighs> what awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning. For me, at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. This is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. to meet all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Can always renounce a gift, turn it down. It's not that easy. I tried once, remember? Besides, even if doing that were to free me of Eridin, there will always be those with some kind of plan that includes me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalach will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain, whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers, what more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. Pah, lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. Shame the Emperor doesn't have another daughter. We could buy all the horses in Novigrad. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin, he objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum, I believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say. You didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Agar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Locked. Gotta 
find another way in. Looking to make some coin too, eh? Hey? I's a war veteran. Spare me a crown. Your might be just ain't by any I've ever seen. Wait here. I'll go inside, open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet, you'll wake them. the two fools who tried to chase us. Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, girl.
mankind spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. Long live acceptance. Oh! <coughs> What's your head? Oh. Hey, bitch. Mind? You went after Inlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Come on, we came out of it fine. Can't say the same for Inlarith. That's the sole comfort I find in this, but it's no justification. You know what might have happened? But it didn't. I was there, had the situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? burning pyres on the way into town, non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novograd. Any success with the lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira, Margarita, Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. If you can refuse a sorceress, and Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. We will. We have to. I'll rest easier when they're both here, with us. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Guess. In short, she was here. At this inn, under our noses the whole time. Transformed, seated on her perch with a dimeridium band on her leg. Zoltan's owl? Mm-hmm. So why isn't she here anymore? Because Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philip at the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. Need to take care of something first. Meet you somewhere later? Fine. 
the fountain outside the Passiflora. And hurry, please. Sure you weren't followed? Yeah. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Thuir, Robert Mekele, Alfelte. Graham et Thuir, De Agnes Kerle, Es Pirchena a Esclase. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her. At his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Was that the past or the future? The recent past. We have to hurry. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. We get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Watch out! I guess they underestimated Philippa. You were pissed strong. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no. The sorceress stays here. We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. Pass. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.
No past go. Purty, birdy, no say. Damn it, cast a spell on him too. She's hurt. Did you see that? I want to help her. Birdy, no past go say. But no let past go. <sighs> Ever had a stomach ache? Take I but once old drowner eat. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no want drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass, I can help her. Mm. But let past go. Which uh, help? Help you. Help me die. Don't hold your breath. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. Oh, what do you want? 
to torment me, to watch others do so. I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. I remember you, little Bond. But this is no time for a lover's quarrel. But it's an excellent time to settle a score. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his arse, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Time will tell if I am or not. Except if you are talking bollocks, and I swallow it whole, well, it'll be too late. Guess you gotta take that risk. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Amir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Ziggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Dijkstra, Philip is not gonna die. We're done discussing that. Forget about it. Situation's changed, Witcher. She's in a position now to foil my plans. Do you really think I will run to warn the man who gouged my eyes out? Think you might want to hear her out. I dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so. I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will you not throw caution to the wind? Will you not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help.
city, sir. Oh, I'm alright. I'm ready, ready. Look, look! Woo! Unbloody thing about it! Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to... And before you came... Oh, places. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy. See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. It seems so long ago. Probably... So, sent... Partly, though... Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. the last thing you remember? I remember a hill. A battle. I had orders for a unit. I remember a sorceress. Her hair like flames. She cast a spell. The right flank was to attack. Hit the shield bearers. The right flank didn't attack. And the sorceress was Lydda Nade, known also as Coral. I was there too. This... this happened long ago. She said it. You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was... interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. <laughs>